Oh man, this is so weird. Good morning, everyone. Look at this. Everything is so calm. So peaceful, you would never know. That coming today, just off the coast of Florida, is Dorian, a massive, crazy hurricane. For a week, they've been warning us that it's gonna make landfall, that it's gonna mess up Florida. All the parks here at Walt Disney World are scheduled to close early. Which is why, with only three hours of sleep, we decided to get out of bed, hit the road, and do something just a little bit crazy sounding. Oh, uh, that's right. We're headed in to the park. And not just one park. We're at least gonna try to do them all. I figure we can either wait around in the hotel room to see which parts of the storm hit us and look at the rain from there. Or we could do this, which sounds like a lot more fun. Our personal hurricane quest, if you will. We're gonna attempt to go on at least one ride per park before they close up for the day. Now, Animal Kingdom closes earliest at 2 p.m., so we knew this park had to be first. And if I'm going to Animal Kingdom, then I've got to go on an expedition. Expedition Everest. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Still my favorite ride at Animal Kingdom. I'm so glad we made it before it closes. This ride often shuts down in the rain. And one thing's for sure. Rain is a coming. Oh, snap. It's already raining. Ah! Oh, my gosh. It's raining so much. Are you okay? about that is right before we got on you said should we put on our ponchos and I was like ah oh, no nah, I don't think so now it looks like I had an accident wow look at this there's no one here all right so far so good first things first if we only got three hours of sleep then Allie is gonna need a little coffee Pumpkin spice. I was hoping to get a little bit of a treat on the path to Pandora over here at the nomad lounge where they have Big gluten-free churros. But unfortunately, it doesn't open till 11.30. And we've got kind of a tight schedule today, so we'd better go. All right, Animal Kingdom, check. Now for the Walk of Fury, back to the car. Look, it's divine. Oh my gosh, every time I see her, I can't decide whether I'm super stoked or super creep out. I just said when we were walking in the park, I was like, man, I wish Divine was out here. Whoa. Viney. Diviney. Ah! Watch out, Dylan! Justin. Dylan, look! It's coming for you! Oh, that was a close call, Justin. buddy. Yes, sir. Can I take a picture of you? Sure! Please. We'll take it with Divine. That won't be creepy at all. Fun pick! Thank Bye. you, Miss Plant Lady. Bye. Bye, Dylan! See you later! All right, I'm ready for another park now. Where to next? Where do you want to go next? Hollywood Studios. Okay. I gotta say, at the moment, it's looking pretty nice outside. Originally, the hurricane was projected to go pretty much right over us. At one point, it was a Category 5, but now it looks like Florida, for the most part, is gonna be spared. And the storm is gonna stay out to sea. Still quite unpredictable, though, and the bands of the storm, the outer bands, are still expected to reach us. That means we're certainly gonna get more rain, thunder and lightning are coming. Some gusty tropical storm force winds. Definitely nothing to sneeze at, which is why they're being so careful and closing the parks early. Well, snap, we were gonna take a boat over to our next park, but it looks like the boats are closed for safety as well. Wait a minute, holy cow. A very nice cast member just offered us a ride. This is so, so much better than taking the boat. Gosh, you would never know there was a hurricane coming. Okay, that rule, that was some Disney magic. Thank you, Sally. It's not just the boats that were put away for safety. As soon as they started saying a storm might come, they put away all the Disney Skyliner buckets. Put them away quick, too. All right, time for park number two. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Dude, this is wild. The hurricane really thinned out the crowds. I mean, they just opened Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, a whole brand new land. Less than a 
week ago. But thanks to Hurricane Dorian, we can just walk right in. Unbelievable. No line, no virtual queue. Just business as usual here on Bat 2. This is definitely not what I was expecting to be looking at when they first predicted this crazy hurricane coming through Disney World. Just goes to show you never can tell with Florida. Okay, let's not forget we're going to try to hit an attraction in each park today. And although I was thinking of doing some slinking, I just wouldn't feel right coming to Hollywood Studios without dropping in on my favorite Hollywood hotspot. The original Tower of Terror. Ah, oh, now that's a beautiful sight. And a beautiful air conditioner. Hmm, looking a little crowded out here in the lobby. Let's take the service elevator. What could go wrong? Wait a minute. This isn't my floor. nice place to drop in for a spell. This has been fun, but that kind of took a while. And since we can't rely on another miraculous golf cart coming along, if we want to make it to all four parks before they close, we're going to have to mix up the transportation a little. Excelsior! Allie doesn't like it when I talk in a taxi, but she's in luck because we're already here. All right, well, there's a couple of raindrops, but I think for the most part, we managed to make it ahead of the worst stuff over there. Sweet. Park number three. Behold the glory. Look at the size of that spaceship. Earth. That is a beautiful sight. My second favorite thing to look at. After you, of course. Oh, getting blustery. It must be Wednesday. This is all wind from the sort of outer fringe of the hurricane. Luckily, we haven't been smacked by any of the larger parts of the bands yet. But judging by the looks of things, that may change. All right, before we do anything else, how about a sweet beverage? Don't mind if I do. <sighs> And now that we've quenched our thirst, time for our one ride at Epcot. An attraction that to fully appreciate takes just a little imagination. There's nothing like a visit to our old pal Figment. It makes me so happy just to see it. I mean, a visit to Disney World with no Figment would really stink. Look at him, he just always looks so happy. Come on guys, you've got to admit, visiting Figment is a blast! All right, we did it. We've done three parks and three attractions, one in each park. It's time for us to complete the mission. We have got to get to the Magic Kingdom. And it's only open for two more hours. We better shake things up again and take the monorail. Hold the train! Goodbye, Epcot. See you real soon. <laughs> Just in the jolly old St. Nick of time. Oh, the Epcot monorail. It's like we got a bonus attraction, Al. So crazy how one second it looks like it's going to be the end of the world outside, and the next second it looks like this. <sighs> we made it to the Transportation and Ticket Center. Time for us to make a transfer from the Epcot monorail to the Magic Kingdom monorail. It's happening. Our mission is nearly complete. Just one more quick monorail ride. And we're here! Yes, at last, at last, with this final scan. We are entering our fourth park of the day. Great success! And now all that's left to do is cruise into the Magic Kingdom and ride one last ride. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful in the Magic Kingdom right now. Look at this. Look at the color out here. Look at the very thin, very light crowd. It's like a beautiful dream come true. This is exactly what happened two years ago when I was here for Hurricane Matthew. That one was a bit more of a threat than this one looks like it's going to be to Orlando. But it was the same sort of deal. The park closed at around 3 p.m. And although there was some serious storming, like right when it closed, during the whole day leading up to the closing of the park, it was just like this. Beautiful looking outside. 
it's sort of empty and nice. Oh, dang, I'm gonna head down here every hurricane. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Every single hurricane, tropical storm, etc., should be taken very seriously. But in this case, we've already got our shelter, we've already got emergency supplies. Our family knows where we are, our friends in Florida know where we are. And we're at Disney World. The resorts are built like fortresses, they've got supplies, they've got water, you know. I gotta tell you, I feel pretty good about our chances for survival. All right, it's time for us to get that last ride we need. And for this mission completing attraction, Allie has chosen a classic. Because you simply can't go wrong with Dumbo the Flying Elephant. This is the craziest thing ever. We are having a picture perfect Dumbo ride, just like the commercial. Technically during a hurricane. Well, kinda, you know what I mean. This is so weird. I mean, I know you probably came here expecting devastation and a shot of the castle falling down in the wind, but I don't make the hurricanes. I'm just reporting on them. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Oh, all right, we did it. Four rides at four parts. In one day, all before the storm closes them up. And now that we've done our duty, finally, we can get something to eat. I'm starving. I'm so hungry that if these were real peanuts and I could get them out of the ground, I would definitely eat them. Luckily, we have a much more appetizing option. Right back here in Fantasyland with a gorgeous castle view. Pinocchio's a village house. That's where I'll get my food. Why do I keep rhyming? Whoa, look at all the stools from the outdoor seating are stowed inside for the hurricane. I almost forgot there was a storm. The weather's just been so great so far. Now we've always come here for the gluten-free chicken nuggets and fries. Even though I like the older ones better. They're still very good, but recently I just discovered they have a gluten-free meat lover's pizza and it is fantastic. So today I got both, because you know we gotta bulk up for the hurricane. You know, Allie, there's a there's a storm, so we better Build up those reserves. Dude, legit the best gluten-free pizza I have ever had. Oh, that was so good. Okay, there's a couple things I'd like to reiterate, just for the record. No, we didn't come here just for a hurricane. That would be a little crass. I've actually had this trip planned since all the way back in April, and we're kind of bummed because we had reservations tonight at Be Our Guest. For once, the one time I make reservations months in advance, there's a hurricane. Mostly I'm just sad for poor Allie because she's still never been in there. Anyway, I'm just bringing this up to underscore the fact that today is sort of a make lemonades out of lemons situation. None of these storms are really laughing matters. And even though Dorian here is looking like it's going to be just a near miss for Orlando, that doesn't mean it's not causing a lot of damage elsewhere. So keep in mind there are people in other areas who are still going to need financial help, supplies, stuff like that. If I can figure out where all the official donation links are, I'll put them down in the description. Just wanted to get that clear and put that out there. Actually, I should say, nothing is set in stone yet. As they're continuing continually reminding us on the radio or on the weather channel. This thing is crawling up the Florida coast very slowly from the Bahamas. And it won't really be up parallel with us until very late tonight or early, early tomorrow morning. So there's literally plenty of opportunity for it to turn on us. Right now, the plan is that they'll be able to open the parks as usual tomorrow. Fingers crossed, of course, but just in case there's any damage and just in case that doesn't happen, there's one more errand that I've got to do. Hey, wait a minute, look. <laughs> the storm! approaches. They batten down the hatches. Weird. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Before I go back to California, I have got to get some... No! No! Why? Why? My old sunglasses fell apart. These are the backup sunglasses. The old, old sunglasses. And I always buy my sunglasses from the Magic Kingdom. Dang it. See, this is what happens when you procrastinate. I've been putting it off the whole trip. And now they're closed. Close the doors. We gotta protect the sweet rebates from the store. Oh, well, that's okay. There's just 20 minutes to go until Magic Kingdom closes because of the hurricane. They started to announce it over the speakers every couple of minutes. And honestly, it's pretty good timing because the wind has just started to pick up a little. Rain is starting to sprinkle down from the sky. Those outer bands are starting to strike. The storm is upon us. Oh, snap. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the rain is coming in like sideways now. This is Little Allie from the Weather Channel reporting on the hog, huh? It's weird. Both the wind and the rain are coming in like little fits and starts. We haven't seen too much serious heavy storming yet. That, of course, is all supposed to happen overnight. So the reason that the magic Kingdom is closing at 3 p.m. isn't so much because
because the sky is going to explode right now. But to give all those Disney cast members a chance to tie everything down, secure everything, make everything storm ready without all the guests in the way. You can see they tied down the Frontierland sign already. And I'm starting to notice a lot of other stuff being tied down as well. You don't want to take any chances with the Magic Kingdom getting damaged. Anyway, trash cans, food carts, umbrellas, everything's got to be secured just in case. This is one of those moments where I really start to notice just how many lightning rods are on the buildings out here. Up, oh, I see zip ties. All right, still a few people roaming around. But the Magic Kingdom will officially be closed in just two more minutes. Uh-oh. You hear that? Here it comes. And here it is, three o'clock. The Magic Kingdom is now officially closed for Hurricane Dorian. It's so weird that I've now been here twice while they closed the park midday for a hurricane. Man, I better watch out before they start thinking I'm causing them. Whoa. The Magic Kingdom is now closed due to the impending there you go, you heard him. That was the official announcement. The Magic Kingdom is now closed. And since it was the last open park, that means that Disney World is now closed as well. All right, as you can see, they've just gotten the very last guest out of Fantasyland. Everyone is now being shooed away for our own protection. No one is left around. No one's greeting poo. Even the poles from the line are getting put away. Everything is now empty. Hello back there! You can see all the umbrellas are zip tied. It is a very bizarre feeling indeed. An empty, abandoned Disney World. Looks like Sonny's still gonna keep rocking through the storm. But as for the rest of us, it's officially time to leave. So weird. Well, I guess we better leave them to their work and let all the cast members secure and make sure Magic Kingdom is safe. And in the meantime, all of us guests will depart and make sure that ourselves are nice and secure and safe. All right, well, there are a few more loose stragglers in each land that are now being herded out. And as you can see, just a few more guests clinging to their final Magic Kingdom moments, getting those final fun picks. But as Once you can again, hear behind the me, the Magic Kingdom is now closed due to the impending hurricane. And that means that any minute now is the very last guests are cleared out of the very last remaining corners of the park. They're gonna make that last final push and all of us are out of here. Up, the push has come. The very last stragglers and looky-loos are being pushed towards the exit now for their own protection. And that means it's time for us to go as well. Of course you can see the tripod squad here all trying to get shots of that empty Magic Kingdom. I don't blame them. It feels like a very cool thing to be one of the last people out of the park. But sad to say, it's time to go. That's definitely one huge change from when I was here for Matthew. One last huge change period in the last five, six, seven years out here. Instead of two or three of us, it seems like everyone's filming everything. The Magic Kingdom is now closed. Everyone is now being cleared out down Main Street. It's time to go home and hunker down. All right, that's it. The final shot. This is so crazy. Is Everyone's gathering together right now. Dorian! Hey! Everyone that was still in here all gathered together for a weird impromptu group photo. But now, that's all she wrote. Goodbye, Magic Kingdom. It's so hard to leave just in the middle of the day like this. But it's got to be done. All right, there's the final family getting the final train station picture from this cast member here. And now that's it. It's official. Time to go out. Ooh, they've shut the gate. So that's the last boat right there. Last boat right over there. Last boat. Last boat. All aboard for the last boat. Farewell, Magic Kingdom. See you real soon. Oh, wow. At least there's no line. Oh, the last boat out of the Magic Kingdom. Oh, thank goodness we didn't miss it. Or that would have been one heck of a long walk. Wait a minute, what am I saying? We could have just taken a taxi or a bus. I forgot we didn't bring the car. We didn't have to be on this boat at all. Well, nothing wrong with mixing it up one last time. There you have it. The very last look from the last boat leaving the Magic Kingdom as it closes for Hurricane Dorian. Weirdly, the weather is not too bad right now. Man, if we didn't have radio and TV telling us there was a hurricane nearby, how would we ever know? All right, well, we've definitely accomplished what we set out to do. We managed to visit all four parks before they closed and get in one ride from each to boot. Now we had really better be getting back to our hotel because poor Allie's heat rash is back. You did it, Trooper. You did it. You made it through. And now that we're finally docked 
here at the TTC? There's nothing left to do but step ashore and figure out how the heck to get a taxi. Oh, looks like we found it. So crazy, I have never taken a taxi at Disney World until this very day. No regrets though, because I'm pretty sure today that's what saved the day. <sighs> Oh man! Oh. We were so happy and feeling so accomplished and then right when we got in the taxi The driver told us they pulled the old switcheroo and decided to keep Epcot open until 7 after all Darn them! Alright, getting Allie a nice cold bath together Well, I do not think we'll be returning because I think Allie's taken about as much as she can Oh, look what I got! Guess who's gonna feel better and probably take a long nap? Maybe I'll lay down too just for a second. No. I'm sorry, Allie. I'll be back. Maybe something is wrong with me. But if Epcot's open till 7, then it looks like over to Epcot I go. Oh, it's getting a lot more blustery. This is the weirdest day, man. I swear. Maybe it's just because we had a whole week of doom and gloom predictions. The gas station and Walmart were out of bottled water. And then the storm blows out to sea and we have this beautiful, mostly sunny day. Weird. All right, well, I made it back to Epcot. I'm not sure even I really understand why. But for better or worse, I'm here. I was gonna say at least all the food lines will be short. But look at this. Apparently they've already battened down all the food stuff. Everything's locked up tight in saran wrap. Don't worry guys, the festival is secure. Once again, you would just never know what's coming. Less than a hundred miles away is an incredibly destructive, powerful storm. And here we are. Just kicking back at food and wine. Just looking at Thailand. Kinda wishing I had some jerk chicken. Just Chilling in Mexico. Noodling around Norway. Checking out China. Uh oh, China spill. Imbibing some India. Uh oh. The time has come. It's officially 7 o'clock. Epcot is now officially closed. I would have been perfectly happy closing out the parks with the Magic Kingdom. But hey, bonus time in Epcot? I'll take it. Wow, look how beautiful Germany looks right now. Good thing there's a sick pick thing. Chilling like a felon in Germany. It's weird, there was no official closing announcement over the speakers or anything, so I feel so unfulfilled. But the fact that the winds are picking up, combined with the saran wrap and plastic and zip ties. Yeah, something tells me. But it's actually time to go back to the hotel and hunker down. Dude, look at this. Look at Italy getting put away last. You go, Italian. That's very typical of my people. Giving you food to the last second. Ah, goodbye America. Well, Epcot America. I hope real America doesn't go anywhere. One last moment of jamming with Japan. Peeping on Spokes Maine, being a lost tourist. Gotta make tracks out of Morocco. Blast past Belgium and Brazil. Do a dance past good old France. Say goodbye to the World Showcase Lagoon. And head back to the hotel. Well, that was fast. If you were thinking anticlimactic, me too, me too. But at least I feel complete now. We stayed in the parks till the very end. I'd like to mention just one more time, I don't make the weather. Last time I covered a hurricane at Disney World like this. Sort of the same thing happened all during the day. Sunlight, it was kind of nice and empty. And people were getting all kinds of cranky. Hurricane at Disney World, more like nice day at Disney World. Well, I'm sorry. I'd make it more dramatic for you if I could, trust me. But this was my hurricane experience experience so far. Really, the hurricane is still way, way out there, coming up very slowly. Super slowly, in fact. That's why they extended the Epcot hours. But the point is, who knows? It might get a lot more dramatic when the storm finally hits tonight. Look at this. Look who else is sheltering what? from the storm here. It's Maxwell. You know, it's we don't know each other that well. We don't, but But like, if we survive this together, we're yeah. going to be hurricane bros. We are. We already. For life. We are. We already we are. We already are now. Because of the Sunshine. This is, yeah. All right, it's night now, and as you can see, the hurricane is supposedly very close. Not that you would ever know. From looking around in here. Everyone's so calm and orderly. People are playing cards. Chess games are going on. Now well, you got a menu here. Mr. Cheesy Pop is trying to explain to her what a hoagie is. Wait, yes. it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Oh. All right, it's raining. I don't see a ton of thunder and lightning yet. But by Jove, it's raining. And this rain here officially is actually from the bands of the hurricane. Check this out. I'm in the hurricane. Huh. I'm out of the hurricane. I'm in the hurricane. No, on second thought, that's not funny. Cheese man, you're missing all the rain. It's raining. Oh my gosh, hurricane. This is so <laughs> weird. It doesn't seem like anything is really happening. 
I mean, it's a little breezier, a little more moist. So far, no thunder, no lightning, nothing. All right, now I'm really having deja vu to the last hurricane I was in here because not only has the storm moved farther out to sea, it's now off the coast, basically parallel to us. And right now, even at 11 p.m., there's a little bit of light drizzle. But it is really not affecting us much. This is so bizarre. I haven't seen any lightning or heard any thunder. I mean, I know it's happening out there towards the coast. Here at Disney World, we're just not feeling it. Well, kept saying our big part of the thunderstorms would come at 12. Midnight came, but the thunderstorms did not. Oh, all right, now it's saying 1 a.m. I can stay awake till 1 a.m. I can stay awake. Wow, so weird to be out here at this time. Everything is so weird and calm and still and Kind of beautiful. I'm not even using an umbrella right now. But according to this radar app, if there's any chance of any part of this oh, lightning, that was the first lightning I've seen all day. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, according to the radar apps and according to the Weather Channel, that big blotch you saw on the radar is basically our last chance at possibly seeing some thunder and lightning and storminess before we go to bed. I almost thought I heard some thunder. There may be a little hope after all. Feels like the wind is picking up. We'll just have to wait and see. Up, uh, wait a minute. I see the rain is picking up now. I see the wind is starting to blow. The storm. Oh yeah, getting gusty now. The rain is starting to blow much more sideways. Oh yeah, starting to feel like a storm. We've been within the bands of this hurricane all day, but so far it seems like Dorian's only lightly grazed us with the tip of a finger. All right, well, I've been out here for about an hour of this now, and it's not that I don't like waiting for storms. It's just that normally I have an aversion to being this moist. Dorian is definitely a big, definitely a mighty storm that has done and probably will still do quite a lot of damage. But when it comes to Dorian and Disney World, well, apparently the two don't mix. All right, guys, well, I'm sorry we didn't get the money shot. Nothing massive fell down. There wasn't even a lot of thunder and lightning over here, but we did manage to visit four parks today and see two of them freakishly close in the daytime. Plus, I lost my voice, so I think we had some fun. As anyone visiting Disney World during this hurricane can tell you, it's been one heck of a weird, sometimes frustrating, on and off again week with Dorian. We've had a lot of adventures this week, though. We saw Star Wars Galaxy's Edge open, Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. We even got to get spooky at Mickey's Halloween Party. Plus, there's still some more adventures coming up that you guys haven't seen yet. So stay tuned and stick around for more adventures. But for now, I think it's safe to say we've done our duty. It's time to hotel and sleep. Wow. I had hoped to end this episode with a long time lapse full of thunder and lightning. Clearly, we didn't get that tonight. So instead, I'll give you the sunset. Bye-bye. <laughs>